The time is 12.05 on this Sunday afternoon, August 20th, 2017. It's Tom now for the Beer Channel Afternoon News on this Sunday afternoon, August 20th, 2017. Good afternoon, everybody. I am Peter J. Williams. It is 12.05 on this Sunday afternoon, and our top three in the Peter Channel Afternoon News is... Steve Bannon and GOP leaders do not expect sweetness and light from conservatives. Police aren't sure where a Brussels suspect crossed French border. Trump thinks about nuclear annihilation a lot, but doesn't know much about it. Protesters flood the streets in Boston, and Trump offers a measure of praise. No foul ball, winner lottery jump in on $650 million. Serious as hard, says Western plots are against foil, but were not yet won. Grace McGuffey back in Zimbabwe, trailed by assault accusations. John Kessler said, we are rooting for Trump to get it together. Sierra Leone church holds services for mudslide victims. Why, there are no Nazi statues in Germany. Amber Alert last issued for four-year-old boy last seen in Memphis. Second police officer in Florida in Kissimmee dies after a shooting during scuffle. A wreck launched a ground operation to take, retake Telapar, one of the last cities in the country held by the Islamic State Group official said. A train derailed in India, killed at least 23 people and injured more than eight hours, officials said. Peter Channel News Time is 12.07 on this Sunday afternoon, and it is time now for a Sports Sport Boston Red Sox. They'll be squaring off against the New York Yankees in the final of a three game series at Fenway Park. New York Jets reportedly told Josh McCann not to talk to me about not playing. Major League Baseball Empires, where West Fans Potatoes have abused the treatment, and Peter Channel News Time is. 12.07 on this Sunday afternoon. It is time now for a traffic and transit apart. Baby! Let's study off. On the MBTA, where Orange Lions pitch from Ryan Lays at a single bomb and at four steals. Commuter rail. Rayman Worcester train 25 or 4 10 to the end from Worcester's up at 10 20 minutes late between Rayman and South Station to Heavy Ridership. And the ferries are all looking good. Okay, I was in my ways of New England on this Sunday afternoon. Six on the westbound side. It's up between Center and the Samuel Bridge. 95 on the northbound side. It's up between West Haven and Old Saybrook. And then it breaks again between Old Saybrook and New London on the south Fun side of 95, 95 northbound side. Slow to Old Saybrook stretch. 95 on the southbound side, it's so between Norwalk and Greenwich. 95 on the northbound side, it's so between Greenwich and Sanford. Mass back eastbound side, so between 84 Surbridge and Charlton. 84 westbound. Both ends, it's looking good from Surbridge to Denver, Connecticut. Mass back westbound side, it's so between 146 and Worcester, all the way down to Charlton. Tonight, eastbound side, it's slow before 45 and Marber. Route 3 on the northbound side, it's so from 53 in Hanover, all the way out to Derby City, Hingham. 3 on the southbound side, it's so between Union Street and Braintree all the way up to Weymouth and Hedberg again before 53 in Hanover. 95 on the northbound side. So before Route 128, I didn't catch it. 120 on the northbound side. It's all right. Route 95 and Canton, South East Westway on the northbound side. So between Quincy all the way at the Dorchester. 93 on the southbound side. It's slow between Bedford and the Mass Pike in Boston. 120 on the northbound side. So between Woburn and 95 and Peabody. 45 on the northbound side. It's slow on stretch. 45 on the southbound side. It's so between Hudson and 290 in Marber. 95 on the southbound side. So can we remain down to Hampton Tolls in New Hampshire? 95 on the northbound side. Also Hampton Tolls. 93 on the southbound side. So between Manchester, New Hampshire and Salem, New Hampshire. And otherwise, I was my way to Vermont, New Hampshire. Main now. Looking good. Peter Chell News Time. 12.09 on this Sunday afternoon. It is time now for a weather report. And if you got any after I got some of these, good to go on the Sunday afternoon as it is a beautiful Sunday afternoon in the weather department. And look at that radar, nothing brewing in the radar in the New England area. Latest on the tropics.
to that at 8 a.m. So we'll move on to the seven day forecast. It goes like this. This afternoon, sun has got about 87 degrees, northwest about 8 miles an hour tonight, clouds got about 38 degrees, west about 5 miles coming coming in the evening for Monday, Sunday, the most clouds about 86 about 6 miles an hour degrees, wind west about 3 to 5 miles an hour, shift to the southwest, wind about 3 to 5 miles an hour for Tuesday. Pass about 14 miles, mostly sun has got about 87 degrees, light southwest, wind increase at 5 to 9 miles an hour in the morning. So tonight, church is hot, and then the sun may have to 11 p.m. Most clouds about 30 degrees, church breaks to 30 percent. Wednesday, church is hot, and then the sun before 10 a.m. And shots likely to possibly be a thunderstorm between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. and then chest shots until 11 a.m. Some of the storm blues gets with every rain. Most of the gospel have about 82 degrees, chest page is 6%. One night, talk cost about 59 degrees, but Thursday, Saturday, most of the about 79, about 35 degrees. Friday, Saturday, most of the have about 37, about 34 degrees. And for Saturday, or for Sunday, skies, about 87 degrees. Kelly and Tyler, it's fair and 83, and in Norton, it is fair skies, and we have. 80 degrees, we hear you have 55%. That's gonna be it for the Peter Channel. Noon afternoon news on this August 20th, 2017 on um, Sunday afternoon, PJ with you. Have a good afternoon and goodbye day. And I'll see you at 5 o'clock for a 5 o'clock report. I hope you all have a good afternoon.